Christmas preoccupations made this a quiet week at home, but outside, Britain saw America warm up for next year's presidential election. Dark horse is Earl Warren, California's governor. A steady Republican, his chances are not considered very high. Another uncertainty is Henry Wallace, former vice president. Editor of the leftist New Republic, Wallace may yet head a third party. A certain nomination is Republican Harold Stassen. A recent visitor to Britain and to Moscow, Stassen has come out openly against controls and socialism. Last year's candidate, Republican Tom Dewey, hopes to stand again. His New York governorship may lead him to the White House. Unlike Dewey, Senator Robert Taft has announced that he is a candidate. A staunch Republican, the bespectacled senator from Ohio was one of the few who voted for a cut in America's aid program for Europe. Safe in the White House till early 1949 is Harry Truman, the ex-haberdasher from Missouri. His position at home has been greatly strengthened by his firm handling of domestic problems. Truman's opponent may be one of his own army commanders, General Douglas MacArthur. Republicans favor him and believe that if he stood, he would be elected. Like MacArthur, another general, Dwight Eisenhower, is silent about presidential ambitions. Retired as army chief, Eisenhower, new president of Columbia University, is now free to enter the political field. It will be an election of vital importance to Britain. Just as important and of